what's up y'all good morning today is surgery day i am so tired it's so dark it's like 4 30 in the morning i gotta be at the hospital at 5 30 i am extremely ashy i done took two showers one last night and one this morning you know you gotta take one of them good antibacterial showers um yeah so here we are my face is so dry that looks crazy okay <laughs> but nevertheless i got a fit on for you okay i got on some wild egg pants let me see let me see hold on y'all oh my to the wall so just some wild leg pants to be comfy in and a wild egg shirt this outfit let me get y'all back up this outfit i bought this pie about two years ago this is when um y'all know my girl Kida. She had did a um a Walmart look a little lookbook or something like that with this um with these pants. But I like the shirt too. I don't believe she put the pants in her video, but I had this for a while. I do wear the black one. I bought the black one and the gray one. So I'm finally getting to wear this. Damn near two years later. It might even be yeah, two years later. So yeah, this outfit's coming in handy. So this is my hysterectomy fit. Yup. You know what? I'm not even nervous this morning. I'm not. I think I put it in God's hands and I just was like, yo. <laughs> Hear me, yo. <laughs> I know how I'm going to feel after all the pain, all the different little, um, the, just the quality of life, me not knowing when it's gonna come, the pain, the pain again, <laughs> all the things. But I did not sleep good last night at all. By the time I lay, I think I laid down around 11, 11 30. I tossed and turned till about maybe one and maybe. A little bit after that. I did close my eyes for a little bit. But other than that. I was um. I didn't sleep good. At all. At all. But here we are. I know I'm tired. I wish my daughter to get here. My youngest wanted to come with me. But she got sick. I had to take her to the urgent care yesterday. Now you guys know if anybody that. Go to the urgent care and you're using your insurance. You know it costs way more than to do going to the doctor's office. And my baby got sick yesterday. She really wanted to go today. And I could just see it in her face. Hold on. Okay. That was my daughter telling me she on her way. So she be here about 20 minutes or so. So we on good time. I got a different day to read. I thought they were going to make me drink like this um, insured thing. But they're not. So, we can get and go downstairs. Um, I want to put some lip gloss on so bad. But, I'm going to follow the rules and not do anything. They'll make you wipe down anyway. But, we'll talk about that Gatorade thing downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Okay. So, got the Gatorade. So, remember I was telling you that I, was, I thought I was going to be drinking some type of, um, like that insure pre-surgery drink or whatever. She just told me to get Gatorade. She was like, it's all the same thing. It's just something to have carbs, carbohydrates in your system prior to surgery. So, um, I got the blue one because my girls like the blue. So, I'm going to take one from my oldest because she likes Gatorade. And, um, yeah. So, that's why I got the Gatorade. I didn't get the insured one. But, when I went to my pre-admissions appointment and my pre-anesthesia well like blood work they want to get something from me they um told me both to drink and they sent me a little like a little information packet to get get gatorade don't even worry about the insure so here we are and i think this was cheaper <laughs> this was way cheaper all these gatorades cost me seven bucks like 7.99 something like that that's crazy so one two three four five six seven eight eight gatorades and this is how many ounces 20 ounces i don't know if she wants me to drink 20 ounces but um, i 
Alright y'all, we will get up next time to get in the car because this mouth right here, I feel like it is dry central. Mm. I got my fanny pack, I ain't got an ounce of money on me. But one thing I usually like to have is um some cash. I got my car, so that's what's important. My phone, my keys, and my Gatorade. Let's go get this hysterectomy, y'all. <laughs> I just drove my own self to the hospital. My daughter was dream billing last night, so she's tired. So she's gonna take her a good nap. So let me get myself in here and check in. change to all my stuff they're gonna give me a nerve block so they say I would you know it's not gonna be too bad it's gonna look intimidating so if you guys know what a nerve block is that's what I'm getting and um yeah here we are so my stuff I gotta put this on I'm probably gonna cut off right here because I gotta pay attention and we're gonna reconvene when it's time for me to go or if I'm gonna stay okay <laughs> Back, 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 back to the triangles number one hip hop surgery. station powered it's by Richard Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Visit GotBrian.com. That's GotBrian.com. What's up, y'all? So, I've been asleep all day. I didn't look too bad. I've been asleep all day. My voice is dumb low. Um, sitting down hurts. So, I'm standing up over my kitchen island over the Boston chair. This is like relaxing. Um, this is all I'm doing. I'm surprised I look this decent. But um, I still have hospital bands on, all kind of stuff. But I don't feel too bad because I'm still on hospital medicine. Um, I, I took a Tylenol and I took a Motrin and I just been drinking fruits and I ate, a, I ate some apple slices. That was it. I don't really have an appetite. So, this is day one. Nothing here. Um, my daughter's here. She's been taking amazing care of me. She got all my stuff sitting out. My time to take my medicine, all stuff. But the real kick is probably gonna be tonight and tomorrow once the drugs wear off. They say it might last me three days, depending on how my body metabolizes the medicine. But, um, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing day one, day two, day three. But today is surgery day and my recovery, like post op. So. All I can tell you is, I do feel pulling. Like if I get up and, you know, you don't realize how much you use your pelvic area. Like coughing, like I'm trying to cough up. Or, you know, getting up out the seat. You know, I felt like my couches were fairly high. But they feel so low because I gotta get up. I cannot get up the steps. I've been down here from the time I came home. Yeah. I cannot get up them steps. Um, I can't do it. I cannot do it. But I've, I've um, gotten up. I've been walking around the island just to kind of keep my body mobile. The doctor did say rest your body, but yet move. So it's like catch 22 is like, what do you do? So, um, you know. But so far, so good. I, I don't feel like a Mack truck has hit me yet. <laughs> I'm still on the hospital mats. <laughs> ah, all right. Bye, y'all. Y'all, I've been napping all day. It is 1.22 in the morning. And I cannot sleep. Um, 
the pain is kicking in. If my doctor had told me, she said, depending on how fast your metabolism is, even though this medicine's supposed to less to have a nerve block, it's supposed to last um, between two and three days. I can tell it's leaving me. But um, my daughter's up there talking. I'm getting ready to take an oxy. I've been trying to hold out. But baby, baby. And it's freaking 1.22 in the morning. Like I said, I've been napping all day. And I am surprised I look, I think I look rather decent, you know. I got on hospital underwear. Meanwhile, I wore all, some whole panties when I went. They told me I don't put them back on. <clears throat> I hollered. They gave me some sterile drawers. And then um, they gave me some panty liners and stuff. But I had bought so much. And they sent me home with a bunch of sterile underwear. But I don't feel bad. I'm just sore. But the pain is kicking in. And it's like just in the pelvic area, like in the stomach, the pelvic area. Ugh. But I know in a few days I'm gonna feel good. So I'm going to chat with you guys later. Good morning, y'all. Day two. I feel so much better. I couldn't take a shower. Um, I take a shower tomorrow. So I just took a little bird bath, changed up, you know, all the things that I had on. Because um, they told me to wait until Wednesday. Because I went Monday. Today's Tuesday. So this is like my day two. But... I don't even, I, I gotta get up there. I mean, it's a shower down here too, but I'm just so happy. I'm feeling good. That's, the, yo, I took that oxy last night. I was like, I was singing to the pill, like, nobody loves me like <laughs> That pill had me feeling good. Yo, I couldn't, I couldn't get right to save my life. Today, I'm gonna try to go upstairs because I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see that, okay? This couch is probably like, you ain't never sit on me like this. But um, I'm grateful I have it because I can't. But I just um, did a light um, wash up. That's probably just two TMI. I'm not bleeding at all. Um, I know some women may bleed a little bit, like when the butt that dries up and everything, but not bleeding and just think. Today would have been the day that my period would have came. My mission was keep it cute. My mission would have came. So that I'm excited about. But overall, you gotta keep these drugs in you. I'm not a pill popper by any means. I got ibuprofen. She gave me everything prescription. Destroy. Ibuprofen, um, the Tylenol, and I got the Oxy. You gotta keep it on rotation. I did miss my ibuprofen at one point, but I just doubled up with the ibuprofen and the oxy. Knocked. Knocked. But it, before it kicked in, I couldn't, I just couldn't get right, you know, tr you know, trying to be here. I did lay across the couch. But, um, it's just, I, I feel good. I feel thankful. Um, walking is, is, is it hurts. I ain't gonna say it don't hurt. Um, you don't realize I think I mentioned this, how much you use your pelvics for everything. Coughing, laughing, twisting, turning. Like me trying to, when I sit on this couch, I sit on the edge and then I slide back in. You don't realize how much that takes core to do that. It's just amazing. They was telling jokes in here last night. I couldn't tell a joke because it was hurting me so bad. Like I had a bad air bubble right underneath my breast. When I tell you the gas X wasn't doing nothing, ginger ale wasn't doing nothing, I even got a bubbly. And it just came, I don't know how to, I don't know how to burp, so that's the hard part about it. But, um, oh, I did go get my nails done before I went in. Did I tell you guys that? <laughs> I was like, I can't. I go get my nails done and my toes. I, I just couldn't. Because I know I'm going to be housebound for a while. But my swell is going down. I will say... My stomach was really, really big when I got out. When I was, it was big. And, but now it's like, it's going down. 
you know, it's going to take some time. I probably won't go down all the way. But my, I, I'm going to try to insert. Let me see. Let me scoot this over like this. I'm going to try to insert some photos right here. Where um, the size of my uterus, the fibroids that were outside of my uterus, she took a picture of all of that. And um, she took a picture of how it looked once they took the uterus out, the cervix out, and the fallopian tube just left with my little ovaries. And um, it's amazing how my body looks on the inside. It is amazing. I mean, just like what I saw on YouTube when I was um, looking things out, I can't cross my legs. But um, I feel, I, I, I feel good. And I'm so happy I got that nerve block because I know for a fact, if I didn't have that nerve block in me, I'm just taking these little pills, I mean no good, but it's gonna wear off. So I could tell it's wearing off. I could tell that there's something keeping me at bay, but it's wearing off. And I got a patch behind my ear. You see it? Um, that comes off Wednesday night, which is tomorrow. So when I take my shower, I'm gonna take it all off, she said, because it has to stay on for three days. So, Wednesday, I take off. She said, but if I start um, tasting like metal or anything like that, something funny, to um, go ahead and take it. That's what that is. That's that's gonna make me taste like, taste metal. But y'all, it, I feel good. I feel good. The only thing I don't is when I'm standing up walking, I'm giving Hunchback of Notre Dame, and yeah, this thing. She been so up underneath me. I think she knows something happened. What, Stink? <laughs> she a mess. But um, I just wanted to check in. Day two, I'm in recovery. I have my um. Where is my po my pre op post op? Wait a minute. Either she said four. I think it's in four weeks. My doctor, she called me. Let me tell you something. She gonna get an edible arrangement when I go to that office. I'm taking the biggest edible arrangement to that office. I am. She made me feel so comfortable. So comfortable. Hmm. But maybe I'll check back in with you later. I'm about to pop a, um, a Tylenol. I do feel a little, a little something. I don't have any fever, so that's good. I have not this hair. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm just feeling good. Like all of this feels good. All that down there, no ma'am, no ma'am. <laughs> One more thing. One thing I don't feel is like empty. Like a lot of them were saying how they felt empty. Something was taken from them. Yeah, something's taken. Oh. You know, if it's, um, you just feel like something's gone. I don't feel that. I don't feel it yet. I, maybe I'm too swollen or whatever the case may be, but, um, mm -mm. I don't, I don't feel that. I will say I feel lighter. I feel lighter. You know that feeling like when you go to the bathroom and you feel like everything is gone and you done released everything? I feel like that. I feel like I've, I feel like clean. <laughs> I feel like that. Um, yeah, I'm just happy. I'm feeling good. As long as I'm sitting down, life is grand. But it's what it is. But I don't know if I explained to you exactly how. Cause yesterday I was kind of not not too loopy, but I was still on. I don't even know y'all. I just want to talk to y'all. But anywho. <laughs> Um, they took the fallopian tubes, the uterus, and the cervix. I got a picture of all of that. I got pictures and I got videos. My doctor is the bomb. Do you hear me? The bomb. When she gave my daughter the analogy on how big my, um, fire point was, I had one... That was the size of this little, this is a little can. So you know the little ginger ale cans. One like that. Then I had one. They had a um 
they had some like antibacterial so like the big bottles she said one was that big that is crazy and then the one that was inside of my uterus just swole my uterus on the inside the ones on the outside were bigger but the one on the inside it made my uterus swell as if I was four and a half months pregnant that's what she said four and a half months that is crazy but always remember your uterus is real low so I did have a little protruding my people won't say I did but I know I saw a protrude down there now she said um everything will shift you know like in the intestines and stuff everything will kind of like fall down and your your um your bladder I think she said um but I will say I don't think I'm on antibiotics had surgery but when it's time to go to the bathroom I gotta go like when I feel that pressure ain't no oh let me just hold it you know because I know I can hold my urine but last night and yesterday the the scoot up was real okay the scoot up was real <laughs> it was like I didn't get no warning like okay you gotta go soon no it was like let's go talking too much you don't really realize it. even talking moves down there crazy I had a little, little pressure going on but I wanted to come and just talk to you guys again and today I'm just gonna relax I'm just gonna relax. if anything changed through the course of the day I will definitely keep you posted the lights going in and out I will keep you posted but I think today's gonna be easy. Day. And why I thought today was Sunday. Yesterday just felt like a Saturday to me. I don't know the vibe, everything just felt like a Saturday. Maybe because me and my family were all together. So it was like, this is what we do, we're going on a Saturday. And then like today feels like Sunday. But meanwhile, it's a whole Tuesday. A whole Tuesday. I still got all my, my bands from the hospital. I'm just still feeling like a patient. But, um, y'all, I do feel good, though. I do feel good. Mentally. Because I was nervous. At one point, I was just like, am I doing the right thing? And, you know, maybe I should wait. Stick it out. I've been going through it this long. I go on the menopause. They say when you go on menopause, your five boys shrink. My doctor told me, she was like, the, the way yours was set up, they were not shrinking. They may have shrunk a little bit, but not significantly. And then... I don't know if it could have possibly turned into cancer or anything like that, but um, I just didn't want to take any chances. And I told her, if them ovaries is looking funky, remove them. But she said they were perfect, they were beautiful. She was like, they were beautiful. <laughs> she was like, I left them. You have both your ovaries. She said, you are going to be great. But my only fear is like, you know, they say, you know, ovarian cancer starts in fallopian tubes which I can see, but I just don't want to go through that. Let me tell you something. What the, I didn't feel anything in the surgery. You know, they got me so loopy before I went into that OR. My daughter got videos. I got videos, she sent them to me. I wouldn't say nothing crazy. They, I, the one thing that Dr. Nurse said to me, she was like, you look like you're feeling real good. I was like, hell yeah, I feel good. Yo, and it's like a, it's like a happy good. It was like a happy good. <laughs> but them ladies, they, they treated me so good. I said, people that's in healthcare really have to like people. You really have to have patience um, and be empathetic, all the things. I didn't bump into one evenly not even in the recovery part. I didn't. It was just it was just pleasant all the way through. Um today I have on a new robe as you guys can see because I did a little bird back I mentioned earlier. But I put on I have like these control top full panties. I put those on this morning. And um 
a panty liner, but it's nothing there. But I do want to keep wearing a panty liner because you can't have nothing going up there. And even though I wash my own, um, you know, wash my clothes and stuff, I don't want anything going up there or anything. Nothing can go up there for eight weeks because I have my service removed. If I would have kept my service, it would have been five weeks. But so, so nothing, nada, nothing. <laughs> I'm a good spirit, y'all. I swear to you. Yesterday, I was more. When I got home, I was nervous. I was like, I don't want to be too much on my family, but they told me you do so much for us. The least we can do is just be on my older. She is tired. She's tired. She even showing out for me, and I thoroughly appreciate my daughter. She making sure our meds is good, making sure. Food, snacks. I, I haven't really been eating, eating, been eating soup, you know, canned soup. Um, I can eat real food today if I want to. She did say this the first day. Just eat soup, broth, um, a lot of liquids and things like that. So I'm very hydrated. But um, I'm trying to like give y'all all this information. So, because if anybody's gonna, I know somebody they have an ears on the 10th. Today's the night, so that's tomorrow. So I know you won't see this video by that time because. I'm, I'm editing behind because this already has happened by the time you see it. But, um, just, that you're, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. I know some people do have complications, but it, you're going to be good. You are going to be good. Just do what they say. Like, they give you something to drink prior to it. I, I think everything they told me to do, like drinking the Gatorade, I didn't eat after midnight. I just stayed drinking. And prior to the surgery, I was just eating very, like, a lot of salads. I ate a lot of cold salad, you know, the veggies, spinach, spring mix, you know, just a lot of salad. Chicken, shrimp, and um, fish. That was it. I wanted to have some lean. Just, just being, you know... I barely drank any juice. Kept the water. I kept the water. I'm looking at something crazy over here. But, um, yeah, y'all. I just feel so good. I feel so good. And I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for all the prayers, you know, and just saying I got this and just, 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 just being here. I thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate it to you. <laughs> Stink is right here. She been by my side the whole time. I'm sure you just think it again. Look at Stink. She got three beds in this house. And she choose to be here with me. I think the camera cut me off when I was talking. I don't know where I left off at. I don't. And I won't even talk for 20 minutes. I don't know what's going on. But, um, yeah, I just feel good. I feel good the pain that i'm having right now is not the pain that i had with fibroids this is just like soreness and i tell you so it's like raw raw even like down there it feels raw um i'm watching this movie it's a movie with denzel the little things i think it's called on netflix Anywho, I just feel raw down here because they did slide everything out my um, vagina. But it's given like for those who may have had children before and that feeling you feel after you know you've been stressed out and something came through and now it's going back. That's how that feel. Because, um, yeah, it just feels like raw. I'm giving too much information. Lord have mercy. But nevertheless, your girl feels a million bucks today with soreness. And I'm walking like hunchback. And this is the only place I can sit where I can feel comfortable. I don't mind too sure if I can. I'm going to make it upstairs today. I'm going to try my best. But the only thing I can think of is that that's, that couch is so soft. I'm going to sink into it. And you got to use your core to get up. This couch is very firm. It's firm and soft. But... I feel more secure on this couch. I feel more secure. But I ain't gonna hold y'all. 
I'm not gonna hold y'all at all. We have been one these lips of mine. I'm gonna make me some, um, I thought we had some bananas. Let's make me some tea or something. I'll eat me a waffle or something later. I don't think I want any dairy. Just something simple. See you later. I'm back. I had to pull the pillow up. The pain's kicking in. You know what? I don't like taking pills. And I find that I wait too long to take the pill. Like I try to bear with the pain. And then I take the pill. And then by that time, the pills, I mean, the pain is so hard. It takes a while for the pill to kick in. But, um, yeah. I got my phone sitting here. <laughs> I got my laptop, we put my laptop down, my headphones. I got a book over there if I feel like reading. Let me tell you something, I had a whole set up upstairs. End table, with all my meds and everything. I had everything set up. I was supposed to be upstairs in front of the big, big TV. This one's big too. This is 65, but the other one's 86, so you know. That's where I'm supposed to be. My daughter's up there, my oldest, and she's working from home. And my baby, she's in her room resting. She got sick, so. Yeah. But this house is down. We all in separate quarters. But I do have, I guess I got this here, and I got like a little, um, it's like a table, it got legs, the legs open out, like a lap table. And then I have another, like, um, TV table right here. I got my meds, some donuts, some gas sacks. I'm gonna do a, um, I got some of these. I got all my meds. I even got some alcohol pads because you, I be feeling a little like, uh, I be need something to wake me up. And I got um, peppermint for nausea. They put some uh, peppermint um, cotton ball in here. And you just sniff it. Oh, I'm sorry. You just sniff it. Oh, smells good. That helps you, you know, with like nausea and all the things. But um, I'm going to go back and talk to y'all. This is where I be. Me and Stink still with me. But y'all can see how swollen my stomach is. It is swollen. I'm gonna show you guys my um my scars. But um, it's not they're they're gonna heal nicely. And I, if I want to wear you know a two piece bathing suit or a crop top I, I feel like if it does leave something it's not gonna be like you know what, what, what happened huh I mean you gonna tell I had surgery but yeah but I got the belly button I got two on this side right here I got two right here on my belly button I got one over here but I'm um, yeah this is a journey y'all this is a journey but I've just been sitting here trying to caught up on some YouTube videos, trying. But I need to finish up my, ta my taxes. I did get all my stuff in my little QuickBook, my little, my QuickBooks. I seem to reconcile some stuff. So my tax lady, she called me today and she was like, her um, nephew passed away and the funeral is Saturday. And my appointment was Saturday, can she do it on Sunday? So I got me some more time. But um, that, between that and Monday, I would have to get it done. Because Monday's the actual 15th, so. And I ain't asked for no extension. No, no, no. We will use what we have. My stink. Well, yeah. This is my my home, my couch. It's like you get these little pains. I know it's like everything just trying to mend and heal. But the sensation, I tell you, it goes from the front to the back. I ain't gonna lie to you. It is, I mean, it hurts, but it's bearable. You, you mean, I don't look bad. I mean, do I look like I've been through something? Absolutely, but I feel like, I feel like I should be looking worse. You know what I mean? Like, really, really bad. But I think we get my nails done, my toes done. I did get a fresh haircut, but Lord have mercy. That's another day, another time. But I want to talk to y'all. I'm like, 
fully by myself. <laughs> so, yeah. But anywho, we will reconvene. That's how you say it. Look at this She done got my covers all like a campsite in here. Like we camping out together. She just enjoying the moment. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is day three. I finally took a shower. I took that patch that I had on the back of my ear off to take it off on Wednesday, so I did that. Um, the shower, I had, you know how they put the iodine on you? It's like red, so, but they wiped it off, but I couldn't tell when I took a shower. Like I use white washcloths, and I'm out of breath. I use white washcloths a lot, and I saw all the red. Come up, but it feels so good to have the hospital off me. Like, I was feeling like hospital yesterday. But um, today I have on like this waistband because it feels better when everything is kind of like tight and versus me walking and things are like jiggling. So I um got something on. It's just like a um, y'all can't even see it. It's like a it's like a compression compression thing. <sighs> yeah. But um, I'm feeling much better. I'm looking much better. I'm just so surprised at um how I'm recovering. Like I'm I'm recovering really, really good from just what I'm feeling. Um, I have my good moments and my bad moments. I, I I by the time the bad moment comes, I don't show those because the camera is nowhere near. But I do have moments throughout the day when like I don't catch my um the pain. I only took two pills yesterday. The first day I was on it every four hours because I was just so out of it. Yesterday I only took two pills. I took an ibuprofen and I took an oxy. That oxy knocked me out. I think I told you guys, repeating myself. That's that's what this is. The days are running together. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought yesterday was freaking Sunday. But meanwhile, it was Tuesday. Like every day is feeling like a weekend around here. But today, I don't know what it feels like. I just know I'm home. So I'll be home for the next six to eight weeks. Yes. And um Yeah. So I just got finished doing a little bit of skincare. And I put some I put my ordinary on. I love this stuff. I gotta show you guys my skin routine. But that might be next week because I can stand, but before you know it, I'm like this. I'm like, I'm bent over. So like right now, I'm not all the way straight, but I do find if I stand up for too long, or if I take too long to um, get up, if I sit in the chair for like an hour when I get up, ooh, then um, it'd be all cramped up. And then I gotta got like kinda like, pull myself apart but it feels like you're pulling like ligaments and stuff it just feels really really weird but um I'm gonna be on the couch day to day nothing crazy nothing crazy um for those of you who might be getting a hysterectomy later on down the line everybody is different everybody is different because you know what I was hearing what women were saying about getting a hysterectomy and what I'm going through I'm going through all the things with the gas and everything and um I haven't felt it up here. I felt it underneath my breast. That was a bad one. But for the most part, it's just down here. I don't think I have to burp. I just let it out. You know, it's, it's like that. TMI, but it's a cause for this. Um, I was, the gas sex, we, like, again, we're all different. I did buy a few things that I... Well, did I buy? Well, I have my medicine. I'll do a little checklist for you guys because you... It all depends. Your, your hospital may give you some stuff. Only thing I really, really need that I don't regret buying because I can pass those down is the penny liners. I bought a box of 68 penny liners. But they, my doctor did say, and a nurse, she was like, even though you washed your clothes and everything like that, right in there is kind of like sensitive. You don't want to just put a penny liner on, you know, the ones that's already sealed, you know, and then just put that under in your penny. So even if you're not even bleeding, she said, at least for the next two weeks, just wear a pain line. So I have I have a ton of those. And what else? 
gonna need some chapstick for sure. You gonna need some chapstick. I just have to look, I put mine on. Um, a lot of water, a lot of water. I haven't drank any, um, I did have some tea, some hibiscus tea. Because hibiscus tea helps with like high blood pressure. It helps with um, a couple other things like, you know, swelling and everything. I will say, well, they look pretty good. I feel like I was kind of like swollen, but um, not too bad, not too bad. I know my fingers were, they were like done. What else? Um, I mean, I can eat regular, but I don't really have an appetite. I really don't have an appetite. Um, I'm so grateful my friend had came by and bought all of us some food, you know, cause I'm not cooking, my baby got sick, so she's sick. Um, my mom won't feel too high. I think my mom got worked because I was going to have a hysterectomy. And she was like, you know, she, my mom couldn't go. Cause she's, she's getting older, so she couldn't go. When I had my ablations, she came to the hospital with me. Cause it was the same, you know, you go in the hospital, go into anesthesia, and, and they do the work but you know she she wore out so she's been resting yesterday and i'm sure today she'll be resting and um my baby she's just and i'm gonna take her meds and here i am just moving slow around the house just moving slow i put on this um y'all seen this little lounge stuff i got from walmart i'm trying to get these pants on but i think i might have to chill out on the pants because it was a job just putting on these little panties, okay? So, I don't know. The bending over is real, but this was a good shower. It wasn't the best because I can't really clean down it. I don't want putting, like, soap, anything to irritate it, but I did clean everything else. So, be mindful of that, you know. You get a little, just splash the water down there. As long as you clean, you good, you know what I mean? But just doing that and, um... I did not use, I have a ton of shower gels. I just used the antibacterial soap. I have a white bar and a gold bar. No doubt has antibacterial. So I use those soaps and I didn't, I use my um, shower gel just up here, just to give me a little scent, you know. I couldn't go crazy and, you know, use my, I just had to just do a quick, nice shower. No, I didn't do a bird bath to did the shower. But um, yeah, y'all, I am, I'm trying to stand right here because laying on this feels good. Like, the leaning and then the bending, it feels good. Because, like, when I sit in the chair, you know, you're, you're, everything's bent like this. Let me see. Like this. And you sit down. But when you stand up, you got to, like, sit. Oh, it just hurts. It hurts. Even with the medicine. You don't feel the hardcore pain. But you feel like you just stretching the ligaments, stretching, stretching veins, and stretching skin. It's like you're just stretching. But, um. My swollen on the top part of my stomach is down. It's just the bottom where they were working and where the incisions are. And every now and then this happens, this happens. But this is day three. I'm gonna take my time. And luckily my bed is made. All I gotta do is pull the sheet. I mean, it's not the best make, you know, as you guys can see, it ain't the best made, made up bed. It ain't nothing tough. But the fact I could just pull everything up. But. This is a lot. This is a lot. But I'm grateful. My daughter helped me out quite a bit. Quite a bit. She is the MVP. She took care of everybody in the house. <laughs> but that's it, y'all. I want to come and check in with you guys. Day three. Everything's going good. I, I do want to insert um, some pictures. Um, I tried to get a picture of my um, incision. How it looks. So I did the best I could because I want to show you know show you guys. But um, I should have showed you in the case. But I took some of my phone. I'm gonna insert them from here or before you will see them. In addition, the thumbnail I will let you guys see. But my doctor, she did the most prettiest cuts. Um, the one over here. I got two over here and one over here and then my belly button. Clean cuts. <clears throat> now, if you were to add each of those cuts together, like cut, cut, that would be the size of a small sincerian cut. They don't cut you from side to side. They just, um, ooh, ooh. Uh, those things. Whatever those things is, air, 
I don't know if it's something like food traveling through. I don't know if it's gas traveling through. But you literally feel it. Like in your intestines. Like you feel the travel. And like something just like going through you like a little worm. You feel it. But um. Let me sit down. You see how I'm about to get out of breath. I want to just come talk to you guys. I know I'm repeating myself. I know this. Trust me. Bear with me while I get through this. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we the skin still looking good, right? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Day four. We're gonna end this one here. I feel real good. I just took my shower, greased up. This is what I need. <laughs> this right here. And I feel real good. Um, only thing is, when you do stuff, you get out of breath and stuff like that. Like right now, just took a shower, lotioned up, all the things. Um, out of breath but when i tell you i feel good i feel good um my appetite is not where it needs to be i'm gonna be honest i don't even feel like eating but i am drinking a lot of um water i'm doing bubblies bubblies is what is getting your girl through all this gas like the belching Cause I, don't know, I don't know how to belch on my own but Ginger ale wasn't even doing it. I don't care if it was swept, Canada Dry, or Seagulls. They weren't cutting it. Them bubblies was getting it. Um, last night, I slept real good. I was able to sleep um, like on my stomach, but I had to use a compression. So I had mom went and got a compression so I could, but I didn't go get it. <laughs> A compression to kind of keep everything at bay and baby that felt real good and also the compression helps with the swelling so I know some hospitals give out um like these compression bands for when you have like abdominal surgery and stuff like that they didn't give me one so I had to improvise when I came home but then I went somewhere and got me something to um, keep my waist at bay um, what else? To be honest, um, I was going to do like a little checklist video of things that you might need, but things that I bought, one thing I really needed was this right here and barely even needed that. This was this box of, um, uh, these box of, um, penny lines. And I barely even needed that barely even needed it because i'm not bleeding at all but i wonder what she said at least with them for two weeks she said because um you may get a little spot and maybe next week or something she said don't be alarmed that's just the body on the inside healing stitches is dissolving and whatnot um my throat did not hurt like bad but i did you know get some cough drops I had a ton of water. I had got cases of water. So that's something that I really used that came in handy was the cases of water. I had that and what else? The med the med that they give you for when you come home. And that's it. And it's have comfy clothes. Like this is an old sundress from like two years ago that I do not wear. It's weird around the house. I just pulled out a bunch of comfy clothes. I did buy me a little gown set from walmart little cute little floral number didn't even put it on it's still sitting over there in the corner i may return it because i don't need it i'm not gonna wear it i was gonna just wear it for while i was um you know recovering but i could just put stuff loose 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 stuff and like or whatever but y'all i am i'm doing real good i am doing my mother said you are strong she said, ain't no way on day four, day two, because my mom wanted to get sick. So, my baby got sick the day I came home. She was sick before I even went, because she was supposed to come to the hospital. She couldn't come because she got sick. That night, she'd go to the emergency room. She got sick. So, she was tapped out. She's in her, she was in her room, locked door. You get stuff brought to you. Um, yesterday, on my day three, my mom got sick. 
So it was like, this house was freaking contaminated. And I'm sitting here just getting posts out. And everybody is sick. Sick, sick, sick. But it didn't, it didn't reek on to me. So I'm about that. I'm staying upstairs today. I'm going to go down while everybody's still asleep. I'm going to get what I got to get. Do what I got to do. Go slow. Come back up these steps. I'm going to sit upstairs today. Because I've been hanging out pretty much for the last three days just um downstairs because the couch is firmer downstairs and the seat is so wide so i can sit back in the chair this one upstairs is soft and a little bit lower but um yeah y'all your girl made it through your girl made it through i will say i feel good like i know something happened to me like something happened but i just feel like For lack of better words, I just feel good. I feel like whatever was bothering me is out. I don't have that eerie feel that I used to have in my body. Like, all right, here we go. It's that time of the month. And you about to start having blood clots, cramps. I just feel good. I feel good. I'm so happy I got it done. I wish I could have got it done earlier, but it wasn't in my cards. I tried to. You guys know my five boy story, you know, so yeah. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. But y'all, we're gonna end this one here. I wanna say thank you for hanging out with your girl doing this process. And I'm gonna definitely give some like um updates and stuff, you know. Cause I gotta see if everything gets back to normal, you know what I mean? I don't know right now, everything just feels good. I'm not thinking about anything else that can possibly, you know, work, not work because that's not even on the radar right now. But um, I do have my post-op appointment in three weeks. Well, by the time you see it, it's probably been two weeks. <laughs> but in three weeks. And um, yeah, we just talked about see what's going on. All my pathology came back from like my uterus, my cervix. I had no cancer inside of me. So that was definitely um, a blessing because sometimes you never know. And I was definitely scared because she had told me if they could not get the uterus through my vagina, they could make a, another incision in my stomach, which they did. And she said we had to pull it out, make the hole bigger so we could stretch her stomach and bring it out. She said your uterus was huge. And she was like, she, sometimes when she see these large uterus and these large fibroids, she know women are in pain, but she, she, she sits back, she's like, you know, women wait so long, you know, to even do it. I said, but I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to. <laughs> and the crazy part, my doctor, my surgeon who did this one, she knew the doctor that I had before, and it was in the same practice. And she was like, wow, I'm surprised he didn't give it to you. Then she said, cause she could see what my um, uterus size was back then. It wasn't as big as it was now, but she's the fibroids. They were big as well. I said, yeah, he told me no. He told me that I wasn't married and I probably want a son. I guess he did. She was like, wow. <laughs> but um, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Y'all, ladies, if you're going through this surgery, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to play with your mind that's non-negotiable you're gonna think about what could what can't with this with that but when i tell you if you had anything like me my nursing staff the anesthesiologist their bedside manners was impeccable it was amazing i was on the defense thinking that somebody's gonna treat me bad so i could be ready to say something crazy but it didn't even happen like that Everybody was so sweet, so gentle, so nice. Oh my God. And the amount of drugs they gave me. Oh my God. <laughs> they gave me so many. I tell you. The drugs they gave me made me feel so good. I was still able to have conversation, but it was a like happy conversation. I know I was telling jokes and stuff, but they was laughing. My daughter was recording. I was going to insert some of that stuff in here. I said no. <laughs> No, I was like, hell yeah, y'all. <laughs> but um, 
we had a good time. Well, shoot, I had a good time. I remember, I do remember that when she showed it back to me. But when I got into the actual um, operating room, and I remember people just looking at me. They was like, you feel good. I was like, you like, it was like a club. <laughs> But I laid down, they got me right, and they put that little thing over my nose. I woke up in recovery, and they were like, you took so long to wake up. Why was you so tired? Uh, y'all gave me all them drugs. <laughs> it, was, it was too funny. But nevertheless, ladies, just put it in God's hands. Talk to your physician. Um, just know um, exactly what you're getting done. Keep that communication line open. And I will keep you up to date in other videos about post-op six months. And I, and even if I even remember to do a year. But um, just to see how your body's working. Because right now my body is, is working off of... Um, I don't know what's working on, but I know I feel good. Like, I've been taking Marilex. I've been t um, doing that once a day. And what else? That's it. That's it. Staying away from dairy. I did have some ice cream last night. I just needed some type of happy food. I had some ice cream last night. And boy, did it, did my feet swell last night. Y'all, ooh, they were so tight. My feet was swollen. But, um... I don't know if it was from a dairy or if it was from um, me not really walking around that much yesterday. Yesterday, I really didn't have the urge to walk around. So, um, yeah. But that's it, y'all. I'm going to keep y'all in the loop of what's going on. Your girl made it through. I'm on the other side. And, yeah. But I'm swollen. I can even see how swollen I am. Like, the vaginal area. Like. I can stand to the side and I can see how it's protruding. Like, it ain't supposed to be like that. But, um, yeah, we wrapped up. I'm about to put me a sweater on. I'm going to go in the house. Call myself brushing my hair, but it's what it is. We ain't even worried about it no more. But, yeah, y'all, I made it. <laughs>